So this was my 26 inch human hair wig as I had it prior to dyeing it. Just a little snippet of me dyeing the wig. Here you go. So this is the wig after the first go round of the dye because I did actually dye this wig two separate times. This is the wig after the second time I dyed it because there were some areas that I wanted to be more pigmented, so I went in a second time. This is just some of the dye that I used, and this is the second area that I had it in in the house, so it was a lot of cleanup also. This is the wig after I was completely done dyeing it and I was starting to curl it and I was actually like super pleasantly surprised with the dimension. I mean the color pictures and videos do not do it justice. If you pick up strands of the hair and look under there are multiple, multiple shades intertwined. You can see on the wand right here, there's blue, green, teal, you know, turquoise, all wrapped up in one curl spiral. So it's definitely multidimensional, um, just a very, very beautiful outcome. I was very happy with it. This is the wig in inside lighting. It has more of a lighter seafoam coloring inside. And then outside it has more of the deep um, like turquoise aquamarine, um, deep like vibrant blue and purples. Um, but I mean, if you pull it up in an updo, you're going to get a completely different look because the coloring, if you put it in a ponytail, space buns, braid it, you're going to get a different look every single time pretty much just because right here I'm showing you the different layering of the colors and depending on how you style it will determine what colors will be dominant in your style. So it's pretty much a very versatile unit. And here are the roots. It's like a neon violet blue color. It's just absolutely stunning. I love how this turned out.